Okay, here's the deal. I've designed this pipe for this for this bike. Well, for the China gas engine engines. And it's been over 10 years since I've used a stock pipe. And I knew they were they they, you know, they were not very good to put it lightly. But I I forgot how bad they were, really. And so I did an uphill test to see the difference of the two. So there's the street uh, close to where I live. And the, the first half of the street has a three degree incline. And the second half of the street has an eight and a half degree incline. And you can see the, the difference. So I I the video I'm going to show you doesn't doesn't show that this is the bike I'm riding because the guy that was filming it was was at the at the halfway mark he was right before where it turns into the 8.5 degree street and I just moved here I don't have any friends or anything so I just got this guy to, to do it for me and and it it failed and then he filmed going with this bike this pipe and then he took off and I went home and I, you know, cut some of the internal of the pipe. This shows where I cut the pipe because the design of this is that it goes through a long tube and there's some holes in the tube right here. And the gas comes out and then it goes through some baffles and then it goes to this area right here where it enters this pipe and goes out. So by cutting this tube, you know, anywhere before the baffles about halfway, anywhere along here, it's able to just completely avoid those baffles, which means it gets, has better flow. So that's what I did. I, I cut off, I cut off the, uh, I cut that, that tube down and put it back on and you know, the, the guy took off, so I was able to go all the way up to right about right here, and it pooped out. So from going about from about right here to right here, it's a huge difference. And if you're poor as can be and you can't afford to get a good pipe, that at least cut that, that tube down. It'll make a big difference, and hopefully there's no hills where you ride. But if there, are, if there are hills, or you're like a really heavy guy, or you just want good performance, you've got to get a good, a good up pipe. It makes all the difference in the world. This is designed specifically for these these engines. Uh, for people that have uh, that have a, a different cylinder here you know, a Minarelli or one of those others that have a triple exhaust port. It's, it's okay. You could, you know, this would work for that too, but you know, it's, this is going to be more expensive than, than getting a, uh, a motocross pipe put on your bike. And the difference is because of the triple exhaust port. It, it changes everything. It changes the blowdown time. It changes the the time of the uh, exhaust uh, pulse. It changes everything. One last thing: um, this pipe is available from me if you want to get it. Um, it only go. It only. Uh, it does not include the header. It just from here to here. For this curved header, all you got to do is buy another one of these pipes and cut it off here, cut it off here, and weld it to you, and cut off the muffler of your existing pipe and weld it to the header. So you've got a nice long header in reverse direction for it to go here. And um, depending on the, um, the, the porting, you may have to add a little bit more. This right here shows uh, 
port durations of the exhaust port and the transfer port. And with this pipe, the needed uh, header lengths. 330 is, is like, this is what I, I have on mine. That's 330. Okay, that's leaving out any of the, uh, the, the straight sections. Probably with the 470, you would probably have to add a, a section of, of a header. And uh, you can get that from uh, metalsdepot.com. And here's the, uh, with the ex ex exhaust port uh, widened, here's the uh, peak power and top RPM you can expect from these combinations of, of uh, porting durations. The, the header length changes because that, that it has to, the exhaust pulse comes out and then uh, hits the diffuser, causes a reverse wave, hits the baffle, causes a reverse wave. And when those come back to the engine, it has to be, um, it has to be timed right. And so you can't just put on a pipe and put on any length header you want. It's, it's not, this is called a tuned pipe. And the length of it is part of the tuning. The actual tuned length is, is from the piston face to the beginning of the baffle. So, because I am selling this, you might think, well, I fudged the results on the video. No, I'm old school and I'm as honest as the day is long. I swear to God, it, it was running a little bit rich with this. I stopped and I... I dropped the needle a notch, and then it was running fine on flat ground. It just didn't like inclines. And where it pooped out is really, really, really where it pooped out. I'm sorry I didn't show it going all the way up to the beginning of the 8.5 degree street. Okay. So... Now I'm going to show you the video where, you know, I'm, I fell with the standard pipe, and then I succeeded with the uh, with my pipe. Okay, here's me. Uh, right there is where the, the street starts to incline at three degrees, and the back with the standard pipe didn't like it at all. That's with this the standard pipe. When I took it home and took out the um, took it apart, I cut most of the exit pipe out of the inside of it and then I was able to go up to the end of the three degree street and where it starts to go up to eight degrees it pooped out. Here's me with my fantastically designed expansion chamber. It kicks fucking ass. That's a three degree section. Right there starts the eight and a half degree section. So there you have it folks, comparison between a good, well-designed pipe that's made for the engine and a piece of crap, little $17 thing from China. Right here is the, um, the distances above the port. So the distance above the port from the top of the port to the TDC point for different uh, exhaust port durations. Now, if, if you have a stock uh, 
piston cylinder and it's at or close to 141 duration then these right here in parentheses tells you what the difference is in the millimeters the amount you have to raise it to achieve these durations for a 38 millimeter stroke or a 39.5 millimeter stroke and uh, of course you should probably verify that you have 141 which is easy enough to do just use this calculator let me see which is the uh, Lambretta calculator This is the website. You can probably get it just by doing a, a search for Lambretta port durations. So on this website, you enter the stroke, you enter the Conrad length, and for the stock Chinese cylinders, it's 85 millimeters. Uh, piston crowned at top of barrel at TDC. Some people call that the uh, the deck. This is the piston crown, and this is the top well, piston crown at TDC. That that point on the uh, on the cylinder. Uh, so that distance right there, that's the deck. That's that's the amount that they're wanting right here. And then the height of the port is from the top of the port to the top of the cylinder and when you click the calculate button it will show you right here the exhaust duration in degrees and in case you're wondering um, this right here shows you how skinny the 70 millimeter pipe is which in reality for the 48 cc and 66 cc is a, is a really ideal uh, belly width if you go much beyond that you're not really uh, making an efficient use of the uh, sound wave because it dissipates too much so you can see um it's about the same width as my uh as my seat you know my leg is my legs up here so there's no there's no no fear of getting getting burned doing that. So yeah, um, the up pipe is a kind of a universal way to mount them. When you do a down pipe, you've got to you've got to make the the header just right for it. Then it's got to come down here. It's got to bend just right. Then it's got to avoid being hit by the pedals and by the tire. So it really takes a custom, a custom job, you know. Uh, different bikes have different distances between the crank and the rear wheel. Different bikes have different crank lengths, the pedal crank lengths. So um, my advice is avoid the headache and just get an up pipe. So I think. Um, that's about all I want to add to this video. Thank you so much for watching.